many subscribers thank you for always i thank you for those who have subscribed thank you for those who have not subscribed thank you for always watching. thank you for watching the other videos i'm very grateful so today i'm looking at the beauty of pupillage many people do not like hearing this word pupillage they feel is akin to slavery it's akin to servitude but it is not pupillage is a concept that uh, can uh, say that magnetic from a form of like apprenticeship you know if you understand the concept of apprenticeship that is what pupillage is all about is a period whereby you on you learn the ropes you work under someone who is a senior in your in, you know in the law practice you know in the law profession and you worked with the person, you begin to learn the right things, the conduct, beyond what you've learned in the law school. You now learn in, it in practice, you know, you know, under someone. Now, many people feel privilege is a waste of time. Privilege is not a waste of time. There's a beauty of privilege. One of the beauties of privilege is that it gives you, uh, it opens you up to more knowledge. Beyond what you've learned in law school, you're a new week, you're just out, or you have a, you've been out of law school for a long time and you went into business or you went into another you know area of law that is not practice. And you now want to come into practice, you know, after maybe you spend five years, ten years in other areas. You need to see go through someone, you know, is is important and is, is advisable. You come and attach yourself to a firm, learn the ropes. You know, many people when you have the mindset that people age is slavery, then you you begin to you know struggle with it. But when you see it as I'm doing this for myself, but I, I always advise people to have a timeline for their privilege. You can do your privilege for two years, you can do your privilege for three years, you can do your privilege for four years. You know, the end point is that you want to learn something and you know your your your, your ability, how fast you can learn, how well you can cope your timelines nobody can fix your timeline for you you can choose to do your pupillage for one year you can choose to do your pupillage for three years the essence is are you understanding what you're there for are you getting what you went there to get you know sometimes many people because of what people are saying or maybe the money is not coming in they feel frustrated you have to learn the ropes first money will come that is sure but if you don't learn the right things, if you don't learn how to do certain things, if you don't learn how to, you know, you know, pull through the practice, then when the money starts coming, it, it will be a money missed road, you know. So, and you know that this practice, the lives of people are in here, just like a doctor. So you must be able to trade with care, trade with caution, learn from experience, learn from people, you know, be involved before you cannot start up your own practice. Many people have started off with that people and are doing well. But whatever is worth doing is worth doing well, you know, and worth doing right. So do it right. Do it with your, your mind. Pupillage gives you that edge that you need in practice. Sometimes in pupillage, um, you know, you are exposed to a whole lot. And many people, when they have open, gone to start up their own practice, some things they learned when they were in pupillage, they will not even, you know, get access to those things again, maybe after five years. But that knowledge is there. You know, you may be working with someone that is into some, you know, diverse or into some, you know, niche of practice that it's not the normal, you know, uh, uh, practice everybody is used to. Maybe someone that is into maybe maritime, IP, um, drug issues, uh, NDLA issues, immigration law, just some niche. So, and maybe when you started off your, as a general practitioner, you're doing other cases, you may not be able to do those specific briefs when you start. But because you already have the knowledge, whenever you get such a brief, you are happy because you can do it. So, friend, I'm, I'm a fan of people. I encourage you, you know, have a mindset. Many people have failed in this practice, have failed as a lawyer because they didn't have a plan for themselves. And you're out from law school, you're... You, you want to come into practice, maybe mm -hmm. you've been doing some other thing five years, ten years down the line. You want to come in, have a plan. I'm going to do pupillage for two years. I'm going to do pupillage for three years. In these three years, I'm going to work 
with my whole heart. I'm going to be responsible. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to open my eyes. I'm going to be you know, industrious. I'm going to be diligent. I'm going to serve. You know, serve, you know, like servitude. I'm going to work as a team player. I'm going to, you know, be involved in whatever they are doing in the office. Some other people have even done pupillage in all different offices. It must not be in an office, depending on your relationship with the person, depending on your contact, depending on how you can even access the places you want to do your pupillage. So many people, so many people maybe will do one year in one office, go to another office and do another year. It's beautiful. The, just the whole essence is your getting knowledge, you know. And sometimes when you have left that office, you see that some other time will be because of how uh, trustworthy you've shown yourself to be how diligent you are how hard working you have you know you've been referrals can come from even the place you did your pupillage yes you know many people say yeah say we did the internship where uh, the internship we did internship during the law school why do i need to do pupillage that internship time you've not really understood what law is all about you've not really you are just like come and go to a firm and see or go to a ministry and see how things are being run there you will not really understand it until you start working so um people gives you that you know that 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 uh, would have to, it gives you that confidence like ah we, i did it before now I can do it again. You know, in people age, you learn law office administration. Many law lawyers do not know law office administration. They just feel it's about um, handling client cases. When you handle client cases and without knowing law office administration, it's more like you're 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 building castles in the air. You might have the money, you might have the connect, you might have, you, might, you have the knowledge. People know you, but you are not good with administration. In people age, you learn administration, you learn bookkeeping, you learn. You know, sometimes you learn these things in the law school, but you learn it practically. You learn bookkeeping, you learn client management, you learn um, uh, client relations, you learn uh, um, um, you learn how to, you know, feedback, you learn uh, um, uh, client uh, information strategy, you learn negotiation skills, you learn a whole lot of things. You know, because once you're done uh, from pupillage and you want to start up, sometimes, let's also understand that many people... Um, Maybe two years have passed down the line, they feel I'm done with pupillage, okay. And there's an offer in the place you've done your pupillage for you to, you know, work with them and you start working. In that instance, and then as soon as you're finished doing your pupillage, you're still working. But you see the same environment, so don't mistake it. For me, pupillage is that time you are learning the ropes. You can learn the ropes in two years, you can learn all you need to learn in three years, you can learn all you need to learn in five years, you can learn all you want to in one year, depending on how fast. You want to learn and the type of knowledge you want so whichever works for you you can still be retained in that place after your pupillage you can still move to another place many people use that youth service period as a pupillage period it's also beautiful if you can be opportuned to work in a place you can be able to assess basic knowledge can be able to be exposed to the various areas of flow many firms many organizations are kind of uh, solo practitioners in the sense that they have uh, they are not into many things that they just focus in one area of law and um, doing your people there is also good but sometimes you want to be diversified you want to know more knowledge so you can move to another firm where they do other things and you learn you know many people are too big to learn when you are too big to learn then knowledge will be far away from you. When you, when knowledge is a focus, you're willing to, you know, to, to bring yourself down depending on who you are and learn. Once you're knowledgeable, you're, you, 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 can, you, can, you can step up, start up your own or you can, you know, have fun partnership with friends or whatever you want to do or even, you might even go solo depending on your choice. So, privilege is a period you have to be serious. Many people, when they're doing privilege, not serious you're all more consigned in looking out of weaknesses the challenges of the practitioner the maybe the the, the 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 principal partner or whoever is in charge this is not time for you to start looking at who did this you have a plan so have a plan because if you have a plan you know that this is a two-year plan so you get focused in that two years you're done and you move you know so it's also important uh, you, you know when you're living in a place, you exit well. Though there are some challenges that have made a lot of people not to exit well from where they are. But irrespective of whatever challenge you face or whatever, I just believe wherever you're living in a place, leave that place properly. 
And when you're done with your pupillage, now ask yourself, what kind of firm do I want to work in? Do I want to open my own firm? Do I want to work with people as I am, you know, do I want to be a freelancer? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to just, you know, start hustling or you call it hustling or start off on my own? Do I have the funds? These are pertinent questions you ask yourself. But be that as it may, many people run away from pupillage. I advise you today, don't run away from pupillage. Many people have 10 years post or 15 years post but they don't know the basics because rather than the time they were supposed to learn the A's and the B's and the C's and to learn how to cross the T's and dot the I's, they were more after learning the algebra and the abacus. You need to learn the basics before you start learning the advanced. But be that as it may, if it, no, 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 there's no one that is above pupillage. No one is above pupillage. But you, if you, um, if you feel uh, after the age of privilege, you can still connect with friends, connect with people you know that can be able to, you know, help you in any case you have, you know, help you, you know, uh, guide you are right. Nobody is above mistakes. That's why there are a lot of collaborations here and there. Uh, you see, if someone has a case, he gets threatening advocates to lead him, or oh, that is a form of collaboration. You learn, you learn every day, and you know. Don't be quick to let go of your connect your, your, your network. I always like talking about network. Have network of friends, have network of people you can always rely on, you know, to on you have network of friends you can always call, okay, this is a challenge. I have this one. How do I go about it? Nobody's an island of knowledge. Have people you can always go back to to say this ask, ask questions have people you can always walk to and say sir please can you leave me in this matter you know it's, it's not everybody knows, no one knows it all so but you must be teachable you must be willing to learn and you must learn well so friends there is beauty in pupillage 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 is important you know pupillage the, the the forebearers of our practice you know saw it and know that knew that this is important so uh don't be don't don't be shy to be you know to undergo pupillage and for new weeks on law students who are listening to me now you, you are done with law school subject yourself to pupillage for people who are already out of practice and want to come back you can just do a refresher pupillage call uh, uh practice of period you know six months one year and you, you bounce back to practice so pupillage either way is important be it from a fresher or someone who is even an old week it doesn't matter what matters is the knowledge you are going to acquire. So, friends, have a nice time and continue watching Lawyers Info Hub. Subscribe to the channel, share this video, and comment. Click on the like button, click on the notification bell. So, whenever we drop a new video, you will be notified. Do take care of yourself.